Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the stunning Miss Lady Pop Hunter here with a open discussion mm -hmm. talking about NECA, the NECA Donatello's Sewer Laboratory debacle, which has come up and a lot of people asked about it in the live stream. And I know it's been a lot of buzz about it, so we're just going to run that over here really quickly and discuss basically what happened and what the options actually are. Because obviously everybody isn't buying this or didn't get it. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, what happened was NECA double mailed packages. Okay, so people mail people ordered this playset, which was about three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, which to me I think that's kind of expensive for what it is, but whatever. People ordered this playset, they got one in the mail, and then they got another one. Uh, and NECA realizing their mistake was like, oh crap, so we did something wrong. And by the way, this is what happens when you let AI run everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And they realized they had screwed it up and they put it out to their customers. Hey, you may have noticed you got two of these. Mm -hmm. Could you send one back? Could you send one back? Because they don't have, that means that people who are also still waiting, mm -hmm. they're not going to get theirs. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get theirs. There are no more. Could you send it back? And here's the part that a lot of people don't realize. We'll send you the uh, the slip, mm -hmm. just repack it and send it back. And when you do, when we receive it, we'll give your account $100 credit. Oh, okay. See? That's not bad. Which, I mean, you, it, it's a $300 piece, but they're giving you $100 towards any future purchase for basically being honest. Mm -hmm. It's like we, we messed up. We sent two to some people. Please send it back to us. We'll give you a hundred dollar credit. You know, you don't have to pay the return postage, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. Now, on the other hand, when you're talking about the FTC, that is the Federal Trade Commission, what are the rules? The rules are you received a package from a company by accident. You don't technically have to send it back. You don't have to return that package. So these people got this package by accident, they can sit there and say, no, nah, NECA, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> Bite me. So NECA then, they point out, and they had said in their initial uh, correspondence that, you know, um, if you choose not to cooperate, we may restrict you from future purchases, mm -hmm. which they do reserve that right mm -hmm. as, a, as a private company. They can say, you know what, we don't want to deal with you anymore. Okay. Then they up the ante. Mm -hmm. Now they're like, hey, and this is where they're kind of um, screwing up. We'll back charge you for this second piece. You know, we're going to charge your account and we're going to cut you off. Mm. Because they're not getting favorable responses from the people that they sent these to. Which technically they can't do. Again, FTC rules, Federal Trade Commission, you can't send somebody something that they didn't ask for because they didn't ask for a second one and then bill them for it mm -hmm. after they get it. You can't mm -hmm. do that. So these people can very easily just go to their bank, go to their credit card and say, don't, um, I didn't authorize that purchase and NECA doesn't get any money. Hmm. It's that simple. Um, which in sharp contrast to my situation with Mezco, some of you who are familiar with the channel, you know a couple of years ago I had a, an issue with Mezco sending a package that was meant for me to the wrong address. And I got that back no, with no help from Mezco. <laughs> Mezco's customer service is a negative 3 out of 10. <laughs> it's the one of the worst in the business, in my opinion. At least it was. I don't know if it's improved, but mm -hmm. they wouldn't help at all. They just kept. I kept getting responses from bots telling me that, oh, well, uh, uh, confirmation says, and it's like I don't care what confirmation numbers say. That's not my address. Mm -hmm. You screwed something up, and I couldn't get them to understand that. Unfortunately, the police in that area did. 
because I called them. Now, the difference is that if it was just a dropped package, you know how sometimes they just leave a package on your porch? Mm -hmm. Tough. It's his, but he signed my name to it because the uh, FedEx required a signature mm -hmm. and he signed the name that was on the package, mine. And so <laughs> the, the police were like, just warning you, that's technically forgery. Dude only wants his package back. We recommend you give it to us before, because otherwise we'll just have to turn this over to a detective and you could end up getting arrested. And the guy was like, here, just take it. He gave, <laughs> you know, he, he gave up. And they brought it to FedEx, and FedEx rerouted it to me at no extra, co no extra cost. No, again, no help from Mesco. That's the difference mm -hmm. because he took it upon himself to sign my name. That changed the, the dynamic. But if you leave a package or send a package to somebody that they didn't ask for, they can't take it back. And we saw that from Hasbro with the Pinkertons over those cards. Yeah. And the that's Magic the Gathering. Yeah, cards. that's why they sent the Pinkertons to his house because they knew legally they couldn't get it back. But they figured maybe if these guys intimidated him, yeah, he would strong. he would give up. And that's that created a lot of problems for Hasbro <laughs> when it got out that they had done that. So <laughs> legally, they don't have to return it, mm -hmm. and they don't have to pay NECA. Also, legally, NECA can say, you're never shopping from us again. Ethically speaking, I would recommend returning it. Because taking advantage of someone else's mistake yeah. is still stealing. Yeah. You are still stealing it. Especially when you know it was a mistake. They mm -hmm. reached out to you and said, hey, we made a mistake. Now, if they never reach out to you, mm -hmm. and then you reach out to them, hey, you sent me the wrong thing, and then they say, oh, my bad, keep it. Because that has happened to me. I ordered something yeah. from Amazon. The shipper sent me the wrong... It was a book. It was yep. a book I needed for school. He sent me the wrong one. And I said, hey, you sent me the wrong book. I'll send this one back, but please send the right one. I need it for class. And he was like, oh, yeah, I made that mistake. Keep the book. Sure. And I'll still send you the one you're supposed to have. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, sometimes they, they come through for you. But um, NECA, I think people are just so fed up. With NECA, I'm serious. They're, sure. they're, they're a bad company. And when people talk about them, it's usually not favorable. They usually talk about all the QC issues and other issues that they've had with NECA. Not being, the QC issues, not being able to find um, products on the shelf, mm -hmm. the prices going up constantly. And NECA has said, representatives have said, um, too bad, so sad. You get what we give you. And, and then people, you know, they feel some kind of way. Is it still right for them to keep the package? No. Mm -hmm. But you can understand. Yeah, and of course, you know, that gives people um, the personal justification yeah. to do what they want to do anyways yeah. because people are selfish mm -hmm. and mean. Yeah. They can be. Yeah. And so it's like, well, pfft, you know, NECA, uh, this and that. So I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. And have, and it, it, again, it's a justification for them to overlook the, the moral aspect of what's going on. Yeah. And I think again, you know, that was, um, the return exchange is fair because NECA is basically losing their shirts on those returns. Even they're losing they're thousands. Up, yeah. They're giving up a hundred bucks a pop to get it back and the shipping and then ship it again yeah and you know so they, w they won't make any money on it mm -mm. so the, it's a hard lesson for them anyways mm -hmm. hard lesson for them somebody anyways. head is gonna roll yeah somebody in the in the shipping department <laughs> that shipping manager <clears throat> somebody is a yeah. new person in there and they didn't do it right. I'm sure it's some program that's screwed up. Yeah. And nobody caught it because no one pays attention. They exactly. Just, they just roll labels off and stick them on boxes. And yeah. then somebody caught on after a while. Hey, wait a minute. Why are there so many doubles? Or mm -hmm. who knows yeah. how that went down? Yeah. But something happened. Yeah, something happened. Someone will get blamed for it. There'll be a scapegoat in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Somebody's going to be the fall guy. 
that's it in a nutshell. That's um, basically both angles on it. What do you think? Are you one of these people that got two? <laughs> <laughs> Would you give it back? Would you keep it? What are your thoughts on that? Let us know in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope that you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you are new. All of that good stuff. And if that is it, then what more can we say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.